everybody, Reaper X1 here again, playing some more Crossout. We're back in the garage and we're looking to build. We got a brand new cab, so we're going to try it out, see what we can get done with it. I'm trying to make a truck that'll be good for everything, but really I'd, I'd be happy if it's good you know, just at the raids. But as always, I would like to welcome you to this episode. Now, oh, you know I'm thanking you for joining me. So let's see if we can make a good one happen as we get our engine put in place. That's probably another thing I really should look into getting. Got to work my way up to getting another motor, but right now my goal is to get the gas generator. I've been building up slowly towards it. I think I'm on level 7 for the uh, Lunatics, I believe it is. And all I need to do is get to level 8. So I'm working at it. We're getting there. It's just going to take a little more time. But we can build this up. And now what I'm hoping to do is, yeah, we got some of these now, so we're going to use them was to make the front end so I can have an easy uh, truck to exchange weapons in because you know we got to always bounce back from either shotguns or cannons or machine guns or well plasma weapons too but I ain't got none of them yet I'll eventually get some maybe but I don't know if I'm really gonna rush towards that but at some point you know I'm gonna have a little bit of hopefully everything you know, as long as we can play that long and from there we'll just see what happens it takes so long to get everything the way I'm doing it because I'm just grinding it out I ain't paying for no extra credits I'm not buying parts unless I've earned the credits the hard way I guess so I'm just kind of working along making the best of what we get and yeah I'm putting my little miscals right in there it's kind of a dangerous spot but we'll try it out yeah, you know, if you put a motor on its side, it, it looks stupid. But it still works in this game, so it's all good. <laughs> so we're just kind of farting around, seeing what kind of design we want here. I don't know if I'm going to take it straight out to battling or not. We might do some testing, see how we do against that. It's probably the safest bet, because then, you know, it's a lot quicker to go back and forth. We don't have to mess around and we'll get good results because we can have a, a standard kind of enemy we deal with and terrain and the terrain in the test area is pretty dang good it varies enough where I think it'll match anything in the game or at least come close so we're just trying to get as much protection on it as I can while keeping it as light as I can because this freaking crab cab crab <laughs> This cab, it has uh, more uh, um, uh, energy points than my other one, but this one carries way less weight. Like, I can only have 8,000 on this one. My other one, I think, was 16,000. So, you know, that's my next thing, is to get a cab that can handle the weight and have the extra power. And I think it's the humpback. I think that's the big one that I'd like to get at some point. Or... I don't know, I can't remember the name of the other one. But those will be better for a big tech. And that's what I'm working towards eventually. Because I like the bigger trucks. You know, they last longer. Because these little ones, I played around with the little ones when I first started. And I always found I died quick. Now I know that's a combination of me not being the most awesomest driver and shooter out there. But, you know, I, I've done better with the bigger ones. So that's probably what I'm going to go back to. Unless I can get real good with the smaller ones, of course. Well, then, hey, we'll switch things up. But I thought this was a good way to get better at them. Is I'll at least use them in the raid. And we'll get some practice in. Some experience. So I think that's a good idea. Tell me what you think. You know, those comments. They need filling up. Helps me out a little bit. Give me some feedbacks and suggestions if you got them. I know I'm moving along pretty fast, but if you see any parts in there that you think are really good, and maybe I should look extra hard at them, let me know. I've tried most of them, except for like the building stuff. I haven't done a lot of the lightweight rails and and stuff like that, but as far as the weapons and things, all right, on. both missiles are look like they're firing, but we're too heavy. Man, I kind of thought with the treads on there, they'd be able to carry enough weight to really make the difference for me, but... I guess uh, they add too much weight and you don't really get the bonus out of them I thought you would. 
So, you know, it's one of those balancing acts. You know, you gotta add the weight, then you gotta manage the weight, then you gotta balance the weight, and then you gotta make it all fire and make it exploding. Or no, explosive. Yeah, I don't wanna do the exploding. That would suck. Doesn't really have the greatest turn radius, so... That's the downside with that. So what I might end up doing is just switching it right out. Maybe we won't even use treads. But I figure, you know, we'll give her a good run in here. We'll see what it does for us. Because I do like the treads, because they're really strong. I I think I've only really lost, like... What? I think I've only lost a tread a couple times. Oh, what's going on? A couple times. But it's never really been, like catastrophic thing because they're so big you know they're so long that they keep you driving even with one side gone oh yeah loading it stalled out loading up the enemies so what I was thinking is if I can I'd keep them like it moves around all right for like accelerating and stuff it just has a problem turning and I don't really want to just take those front wheels off because I'll lose a little more weight that I can handle and then I might get stuck, and I, you know, I, I like the longer vehicle. And it's kind of cool looking, the half track idea. Let's get these guys, get them, shoot at them, get them lots. Ooh, got your wheels. Ah, you suck, buddy. I want you, you're running away. I want your wheels. Oh, you stopped, big mistake. Oh, that's why he stopped. He knew I was going to use missiles on him. He's smarter than he looks. He really is. Oh yeah, buddy, you're going down. I got you in my so. Ooh, I like those. Those are always cool. Oh, gotcha. He was almost dead. Oh yeah, you're my next. Oh, you're hit. Oh, didn't even get to hit him. I don't think I just blew him up. I can handle that. Oh, I'm liking these shotguns though. They are pretty cool. But I think what I'm going to end up eventually doing is trying to get a few more of them. Ah, I blew myself up. Oh, no. Suicide's never cool. Because so I've seen a bunch of techs where they got like five and six or more maybe of those things on them. And man, they just devastate me usually. Whatever they hit. But yeah, it's usually me. So, you know, like you ram into something fast enough, plus you're shooting at it too. Like, you're going to really take things out quick. And that's kind of what I want. Because then I could use a smaller truck. Oh, road, yeah. Oh, back up, back up. Get him, get him, get him. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Still alive. Still doing good. I'm just going to run this and see how long I can stay alive. Because this truck's actually already surprised me how much it's taken. Now, against in the missions against real players, it's not going to do as good. May not even do as good in the raids. Because there's usually more enemies than what I'm encountering here all at once. But so far, it's looking alright. I'm kind of getting into this one. Get some more here. Why would it lock on? Yeah, it seems like putting the missiles in the front little compartment might interfere with their ability to lock on to stuff. So I'm not too sure about that. Like I'm at a decent distance where I should be able to lock on, shoot, and do some damage because he ain't really moving fast. Not at all. Let's go get him. We'll see what now it locks on when I'm too close to really use them. So yeah, I'm thinking maybe we have to move those missiles up higher or something. Something to think about the next time we build. Or, who knows, maybe we'll just build a whole new truck. Because it's kind of a fun part for me, is just building the new stuff. I don't mind the battle and all that, but I always like the build. The only problem is, is I can't get my hands on all the parts I want. Not as quick as I'd like, anyway. But we're getting real close. I think I even got all the stuff I need crafted for the gas generator. I just gotta get that, uh that level because I've even went and made sure I earned enough money to buy the work or rent the workbench so I could build the five parts which is bad because I only really want one part I think right now from them I don't see why we can't just like go part 
like per part. Charge me 20 bucks to make a part at the workbench. Why do I have to make five? So a lot of the time I don't want five from all of them. And honestly the only reason I even started that faction was for that generator. And now it's not even the biggest generator, but it's a good one I can get to reasonably fast. It's the other ones like oh, I forget what they're called, but it's like the advanced stuff so you know it's gonna take a while before I can get close to that one so I know with the engineers you can buy one part at a time for the basic stuff I think but the more advanced it goes up to five again I believe. so that's something I don't know I really wish they would change that I don't really like being forced into spending money I don't want and then also to get your money's worth if you don't want any more parts from there you're, you're crafting something you didn't want and at that grade, it's like the the purple uh, workbench. They all you can do is sell it, which I guess is all right. But what if I don't want to sell it? What if I got everything I need? I've earned it, and I didn't, you know, I just I end up with that. And now I'm selling it, and I didn't want to because I've had to wait and spend the time to get all the other things just to craft those extra four or five part or three or four parts just to sell. Them. It's a way to make you play their game longer. It's all it really is. It's like a, a grab them in the grinding kind of thing. Still a very fun game though. I've had lots of fun playing this. I just don't know how many hours I've put in. It might tell me somewhere, but I haven't really looked into it. I just play when I feel like it. Recently I've been doing a wee bit of playing. Trying to get everything leveled up so I can really get after it. Now I really thought these guys would have destroyed me by now. But, oh, it, it, this might be it. They're really putting a hurting on me here. I'm down to 43 hit points left. Oh, 21. Oh, 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 oh. Getting me? Got me. Ah, there we are. So we've definitely seen some imp things that could be improved. Now it's just, what do we have that we can improve on Pawn? And put to work for us. So we'll get rid of them because they are a major weight. Put these on since they're our next biggest weight carriers. Yeah, we'll swap that. We'll get the lighter weight frame on. Hopefully that doesn't bite us in the arse at some point. It probably will, you know, our, our power score or whatever will go down. <laughs> our health ability. But now we can fit a little more protection on for our cab and stuff. So that should be good. I don't know about that, but we'll see for now. Work in progress, you know. Work in progress. See, it'd be cool to have both of them under there, but I really don't think that's going to fire the missiles and the gun. No. Didn't want to do that. So we'll get this back as far as we can, I guess. Can we put another one on, or is that going to... Oh, it's really racking up the weight. Keep that like so. Yeah, forgot my fuel tank. I really should have put it on the bottom. Well, maybe we'll put her in there for now. Hopefully we can be fast enough where we're, we're just too damn evasive. No one can get us. I'm not going to count on that though by any means. Well, that should help a little bit. Because it would be nice to actually get fuel every time we do survive a battle. It makes it like a worthwhile thing. Because for the most part, I usually sell the fuel and make my credits. That's one of the way I do. I make uh, that up. Or I craft parts in uh, from the extra stuff I can out of a workbench and then sell them off. Now the one thing I did think about was to fire the missiles. Uh, it steers good though, like I like that. It's not super fast, but it moves. But the one part I was thinking of selling was my big, uh, I think it's the Fat Man Cannon. I think that's what it's called. But it's the really a good cannon for, and it's the best cannon I got. I don't, I don't know. I took a lot of time crafting it. I don't really think I want to sell it just yet, unless I get a better cannon. That might be cool. 
but I can't depend on those crates doing it, like the daily challenge, two-hour crate, or the 14-hour a week crate. Can't count on them ones, I tell you. Usually, I get friggin' junk. I've only got one good thing, or two good things out of them. I've gotten a cooler and a vector machine gun. That's the only two good things I've ever got out of it. So yeah, I'm a little bit complaining, but I'm really happy I got those two cool things. I actually handled pretty good on that. I like that. Nice little jump. See what we can do on some big hills. Take her for a ride. Up, up, in a wee! Well, it does slow down a wee bit, doesn't it? <laughs> That's a heck of a hill, though. So I think it's okay. And I kind of like the look of this, even though it does look like a little box with wheels. If I could carry more weight, I would have worried about pretty. But right now we're all, holy crap, cleared the whole thing. That was pretty good. I would worry about more aesthetics if I had the weight allowances, but... That's one thing i got to stop doing in this game, is worrying about how it looks. And just getting the important stuff in, and getting it functional, and the best it can be for what I got. But I like things to look cool too, so it makes it really tough. That's like the other games I play, I always try and make them, well, uh, the ones I build in, like Terror Attack and that, I always try to make it look as cool as I can, and as, as functional as I can without uh, taking away from the function due to aesthetics. But it's still a balancing act, no matter what. Because anytime you're trying to make it look cool, there's a good chance you might have to really work extra hard to make it both. But this thing's working alright. Like, look at the hit points coming off that. 82 is a high? 95? Oh, ramming speed there. That was, uh, I don't know what won that game. Maybe my. Maybe those shotguns aren't hitting. Maybe everything else is out too far. So we might have to redo stuff a little bit. Because if those aren't hitting anything, well, that's a big part of their attack. The faster you go, the harder you hit something, the more damage they do. Up until a point, anyway. Oh, beauty! I am liking that. So the one nice thing about having the missiles down there is I can run into something and then fire them right against them and it's going to hit them. It's not going to do some big arc over them and dodge them. Other than that, i got to be at just the perfect range. To really put a hurting on him with him. Oh, uh oh, right in my tail. Oh, he cut right in front of me. He had a bad decision on that turn. Yeah, they're going down pretty quick here. I'm liking this truck, car, thingy, whatever you want to call it. What would you call this? Just a question. I don't really know. I'd call it a, a mutt truck. It's kind of a mutt between a buggy, a car, and a truck. But if you guys got a better name for it, let me know. So I don't really give these ones names, I'm just like cast. Or this is the one I use for shotguns or cannons or stuff like that. <laughs> <coughs> I haven't really got into naming them too much. I just like building them, fighting with them. It does look sharp at the front though. Literally, sharp. It's got spikes and stuff on it, it's great. So I'd have to say this is one of the funnest trucks I've built in this game so far, as far as speed and handling. Look at that, it can do almost perfect donuts. Handles water decent. Does slow down a bit, but we can still do a nice tight turn. I think we did alright. I think that's all the enemies, pretty much. Let's see what she does on dry land. Oh yeah, look at that. Figure 8, figure 8. Oh, and it does it good, too. Look at that. That's a pretty nice looking figure eight. Kind of want to check out my handiwork there. I'd say that's picture perfect. Okay, those trail marks look like a dong a little bit. That's not really that great. I, I really should think about where I'm driving and looking at tire marks, I guess. <laughs> so, yeah, well, that's a pretty good test. I think I'm going to save that one. Call that fast mover. Yeah, I forgot to put these on, though. Dang it. 
least with these on, I get a little few extra points for the little bit I usually earn. And as far as what's a good score for a round, I'm not really sure. Like, I think that the most I've ever made in one round as far as reputation points is like six, 7,000. I don't know if that's really that great or not. Like, that isn't for the truck. That's for, like, my faction points. So if you want to give me a little insight on what's good for that, you know, just throw it down in the comments there. And if you've happened to like what you've saw here, yeah, throw a like at her, eh? That little blue thumb looks way better lit up blue than it does just blank. And if you'd really like to stay up to date with what we got going on this channel, I would highly recommend subscribing and dinging that bell so you'll be notified when there is something new. And from there, you know, why not share with your friends? Maybe they want to get in on a good one too. See what we got going on here and you could always wander the channel. See what else we got, because like, we always try and get into as much different stuff as we can. But I think that's going to about wrap it up for this one. So as always, you know, thanks again for joining us. Hope you're having a good one, but until that next time, just keep being that awesome and keep having a good one. Bye.